going to, look how messy my coffee cabinet is. I'm gonna make myself a peppermint coffee. Maybe I should use this because it's kind of festive. Um, and then get myself ready. I'm gonna also roast some butternut squash this morning. I think I'm gonna make a pot of um, butternut squash soup for tonight to have um, for when we go up to the monastery. I think that that would be a good way to control my points. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I have um, some family that live in Hawaii. And so I always have, you know, really good coffee just sort of around. So this is what I'm having this morning. I thought this would taste good with the peppermint mocha. This is the Kona chocolate macadamia nut coffee from Hawaii, and it smells amazing. So don't drink this every day. This is like a special treat. I'm going to put a half, maybe not even half of a cup, maybe a fourth of a cup of the almond milk for zero points. And I'm going to start my day with a banana and two tablespoons of PB2 for one point. Um, I am going to have some egg whites this morning and just try to keep things basic in anticipation. I've already tracked my lunch and I'll show that to you guys. Too, with my banana on top and I also put a teaspoon and a half, a teaspoon and a half of the hemp heart, hemp seeds for the fiber. Um, they look like this. So you don't want to overdo it on this stuff. It can be high in points. That's a point right there. So this is a two point bowl and I have one point for coffee, so three points. Um, but these are really great. They have a lot of fiber um, and they're kind of filling. And so, hold on, I'll show you the nutrition on those. So they're really great on yogurt, that sort of thing. Okay, the queen of procrastination is just now getting her crap together. But look at the little turkey I got, isn't it cute? So I'm gonna go work on these. All done. They turn out kind of cute. The pumpkins on the front are funny, but just kind of simple for three tables. And then I'm going to put more of these. I have raffia to go down the middle, and I'm going to put more pumpkins and little gourds down the middle with some leaves. And then that way they won't be too big that people can't, you know, talk over them. And just finished putting together this seven layer salad for tonight for our trip to the monastery. Um, it has no meat in it but it does have cheese in it which is okay for them so i have um romaine lettuce carrot like diced carrot diced onion bull house farms ranch dressing i have my favorite cheese that you guys know i love um, a little bit of that cucumbers a little bit of the tabbouleh salad and then instead of peas i used edamame so i'm thinking um, a big cup of this is going to be three to four points from what I'm figuring. And then I'm also making the butternut squash soup. So I'll have that and salad tonight and I should be able to stay on program. Two point omelet, um, three fourths cup egg white, two tablespoons of my favorite cheese because it's Thanksgiving and I'm eating cheese today. And we are working on the gluten free stuffing. So that's gonna go in there. Whew. And I have the butternut squash going. It's gonna go, the soup's gonna go in the crock pot for tonight. Um, I've got to start the green bean casserole in the oven in a little bit, and we still have to work on the sweet potatoes. Woo! Lots and lots to do. The butternut squash are done. They're cooling, and I've got the miraflaw done over here. I'll turn some light on. Um, carrots, onion, celery, and then I've also got the spices for the butternut squash soup. That's really loud. Woo! got Frank playing in the background. So we're doing butternut squash now and then my husband is getting ready to chop up some sweet potatoes so we can roast those. Okay, the um, sweet potatoes are in. It's just sweet potatoes with the coconut oil spray and salt and pepper. And I'm working on the butternut squash. Um, I'm gonna put just a little pinch of the red pepper. I'm a big Penzies. I love Penzi spices if you've ever had them. Um, I have an addiction, so I make everything with Penzies. Penzies, Penzies, Penzies. So if you want a good, good spices, if you can find a Penzies store, 
up in New York. That's where I got addicted. There's a Penzi store where I live now, but you can also go online. Um, and they have, like, the sandwich sprinkle is to die for. Um, pretty much all their spices I love. I love all their spice mixes. Their Italian spice is great. Their Northwood Fire. I mean, I have a whole cabinet full, so highly recommend. Okay, next up we have to get, so these are done. This is what the crustless pumpkin pie ended up looking like. Looks like we got a little smush right there, but I've got two of those. Um, I don't know if you can see it. And then I've got a huge thing of uh, green bean casserole that's got to go in the oven here in a minute. And I've got two things of cranberry. One I'm going to take to the monastery tonight. Um, the other one for the big meal. So that's what's out here in our outdoor fridge. Outside fridge. Um, so working on that. I think I'm going to have a lacroix right now. This looks so delicious. Getting all the centerpieces. Taking them in to where we're going so we can set the table up. Let's see. Oh, I think I want. Can you? Here, here. Dogs. Oh, did I bring the scissors? I don't know. All right, you're set. Okay, just putting finishing touches on the little centerpiece area. Right, Judah? That's the plan. And then we've got to go home and figure out what else we've got to do. We've got church at, what time do we have church? 11. 11. So, that will be exciting. And, what else can I tell you? Just kind of doing things as we can. It looks really good. assistant Judah and next up is church um so we do an Agatha of Thanksgiving at church at 11 and then after the Agatha we go and we eat so lots going on oh, I hope you all are having a good Thanksgiving out there I think after today, I'm going to take a break from vlogging until Monday, um, just so I can spend time with my kiddos and my family, and um, I am going to still be tracking points, but I am going to take just a couple days, and then we will start up again with weigh-in on Monday. So, next up, I will show you everything else. Yeah. 
Okay, that is pretty much a wrap on my Thanksgiving day so far and our feast over with a bunch of our church friends. Um, we are off in a little bit to the monastery to um, have some food and fellowship there. I did make a big pot of butternut squash soup, um, and that's going to be zero points. And then I have a layered salad that I'll show you guys here um, that's going to be about five points per cup. So that's my plan for tonight. I have 13 points left, and I'll insert a picture of my tracker from today so you guys can see what I ate for th my Thanksgiving meal as well as a, as a um, picture of the meal. So one thing I'm really thankful for is um, just being able to share my journey so far with you guys on YouTube. I'm really thankful for your support. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. Um, God bless you all on this day. And I will see you all on Monday for sure. Okay, just uh, pop in the comments and say hi. Bye and happy feast.